Welcome back. Every year, Flag City Honor Flight makes sure local veterans have the chance to visit the memorials in Washington, D.C. that honor their service, even sacrifices they have made. This afternoon, Steve Schultz with us to talk about this year's trips. Four of them, April 23rd is the first one, mm -hmm. and we go in June, September, and November. So it's going to be another busy year. It, people ask me all the time about, about the scheduling and like, during COVID, we shut down for two years. Yep. And so that really a big backlog of veterans that we're seeing the coverage we we're doing and we're wanting to get in there and apply. I saw a guy at the grocery store this week. He says, oh, yeah, yeah. Hope I get called this year. Uh, he applied three years ago. Yeah. He's still waiting. And uh, yeah. how are we coming along with that? Right now we have, uh, I checked right before I came over, and we have 555 veterans waiting to go. Good. So uh, we're, we're making some headway. We had 600 last year. Uh, you know, so we're at least making a little headway. We get we get them on flights, but Dan, part of the problem is I'll give you an example. I was at the an American Legion post last week, getting a few veterans signed up, and one of the questions we always ask them is, "How did you hear about us?" Every one of them said Dan Cummins. So, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> that means a lot to me that it's like that, and and everywhere yeah. I go. Uh, you know, used in my earlier life when I was a sportscaster, I yep. uh, was asked about that a lot. Now everybody's asking about Flag City Honor Flight and everything else. So, yep. yeah, yep. it's getting it's getting to be a more of a common thing. Very proud of of what we've been able to do with Absolutely. with Flag City Honor Flight. You've been aboard as the the uh, director now for a couple of years. Um, have things changed that much? How things are operating this year? Well, as you said, you know, we had two years where we didn't get any flights off the ground with COVID. And so, you know, last year was the first year we were able to do four flights. Uh -huh. And then we're doing another four flights this year. So, but it's just, it's a lot of work, you know, because we were doing two, you know, earlier years, but then we got some good fundraising and we're able to do four, but it's just, it's a lot of work and we are a working board. So there's nobody paid and it's just, uh, again, that's the thing to mention. Great, great this people. is your, your, everyone that works for honor flight is not paid for doing so. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's a lot of, it's labor intensive. What all goes into the flight? I know that there are people that vet all of these veterans to go through and make sure they're who they are, get their background yep. information see if they have medical issues yep yep we have a number of nurses that are part of our of our board actually four nurses go on every flight there's a nurse on every bus and uh, yes they take a look through all the applications to check the medical status of the people but but yeah Dan I mean it's you know we gotta get flights we get four flights a year that we charter we have to get the bus service out of out of Washington we gotta get the meals while we're there uh, there's just there's a lot of a lot of logistics that go into it I know you know you've been on what will this be your 15th flight or something like that yeah. coming up? So, yeah. Uh, the, uh, the fundraising, has that continued to do well? That has. Uh, we've gotten some, some, fabulous, uh, some fabulous contributions over the last few years. A lot of people have stepped up. Um, as a matter of fact, I just mentioned to you Marathon Petroleum and their veteran employee network uh, just agreed to sponsor our September flight in full. So that's, that's huge for us to be able to do that. What's a common question you're asked about Flag City Honor Flight from veterans about want to go? Well, it's, it, it's usually the question is, and I hate to say this, but they say, do I deserve to go? Yeah. I, I feel like I don't deserve to go. And, and you know, my common response to them is, no, absolutely you deserve to go, especially the ones that maybe didn't go to Vietnam. Um, or, for example, I had one, uh, had a World War II vet that I actually went to the nursing home last year. The grandson asked me, can you come and convince my grandpa to go? And I went and talked to him, and he was in the Coast Guard, and he guarded the Aleutian Islands. And I never really thought about that, that they yep. even have to do that. He went in November, that. didn't he? He did. Yeah. And he said, so I wasn't in combat, so I don't really deserve to go. And, you know, we kept explaining to him, and, and his grandson did too. Yeah, but Grandpa, somebody had to do that. You were part of the team. And that's what I kept, you know, explaining to him was you were part of the team and you deserve to go. And he did go. Let's, and he, for people who aren't familiar with what's the eligibility for this? Uh, just having served in uniform or Correct. even active duty only? Uh, no, you just had to have served in uniform, Vietnam era veteran, Korea or World War II. Yep. And you don't have to have been in Vietnam. You don't have to have... Uh, you know, been in, in battle or anything like that. It's just, again, you were part of the team, so you were important. Put in your words what it means to these veterans to go, because there may be some veterans out there who have been to D.C. before, they've seen the memorials, but why do they need to go on this special day on our flight? It, it's just entirely different, and, and I've heard many veterans say, I've, I've been there before, but this is just special, because, number one, they're with a lot of their, you know, again, different branches of the service. They have a lot of bantering back and forth, which is fun, but... They have a brotherhood and a kinship. 
And again, you know, we get special privileges at, uh, you know, at Arlington, which is really neat. And it's just a, a totally different experience for them. We spoil them and they are very worth being spoiled. No question about it. Yeah, the no homecoming, I, I always tear up even thinking about it right now, the yeah, homecoming at yeah, night, yeah. And special day. For anybody that's never been to the homecoming, I would highly encourage you to come to the homecoming. Just yeah. as I always say, patriotism at, at its best. My grandkids were there last time giving flags to the Marcos guy when he was coming in to give, give the pizza. So, uh, but it's yeah. just a really neat experience. Flagcityhonorflight.org, that's the website right there. Sign up, go on Honor Flight. If not this year, go on next year. Steve Schultz, thank you so much for being here. Thanks, Dan. We'll see you April 23rd. Sounds great. Appreciate your help. We'll be right back.